from that we will start with a new topic disposal of dead bodies okay there are various methods of disposal of dead bodies uh generally we will speak about nine basic methods those are incineration <coughs> burial water submersion cannibalism body donation body void display left to be eaten away by vultures or aerial burial hydrolysis or dissolution freezing with liquid nitrogen so these are the main methods of body disposal or dead body disposal we will see one by one <coughs> first according to buddhism they follow incineration method okay here yeah. the bodies dead bodies should be burned to release the soul which is bad with the hope that they will reincarnate it into a better one so buddhism what buddhism tells that uh, if we burn the body and uh, turn it into ashes then the uh, soul will be released and re reincarnated that means reborn in the future life that is the method followed in the buddhism in the christianity that is also in the especially in the orthodox church uh, they teach us that the human body will rise at the second coming of the world, lord to attain the blessedness of the heavenly kingdom together with soul or to suffer the result of rejecting god therefore we must respect the body even after death respect is shown by burying the dead body and not burning it so Uh, if burning means they think that it is not a, a good respect, and uh, God will reject them, so they try to do burying method. Okay, they will uh, put in the, uh, I mean, they will put in the coffin and they will bury it. So that's what uh, done in the Christianity. When you come to the Hinduism. the dead body is considered to be symbol of great impurity hence minimal physical contact with the dead body is maintained perhaps to avoid the spread of infections or germs they burn the body after death believing the body is made up of uh, from five elements that is also called panchabhuta okay the, those are fire water uh, air earth and sound or ether okay so these should be uh, released to the environment itself so they think like that and they will burn the body okay this is a good method because uh, we will not touch them touch the dead body if we touch the sometimes there will be transfer of infection okay if we burn there will be no transfer of any infection next <coughs> uh, after burning the remains are spread out in the rivers okay uh, whatever ashes we get after the burn we will spread into the water or we will throw to the water so that's what water disposal next coming to the zoroastrians uh, here uh, fire is considered considered as god which is pure the dead body is impure they don't want to mix the impure body with the fire so they don't want to mix the pure with the impurity so they will not burn they leave their dead bodies on the top of their temples to be eaten away by vultures they believe it is meant for them and they were created for create eating the human flesh so this is what aerial burial is called okay aerial burial means they will, after the death they will put the dead body on the top of the temple so that it will be eaten away by the vultures that is called aerial burial next uh, zoroastrians in india okay those are also called as parsis okay these are also done the same way here regard sky burials in which the body are exposed to natural elements including vultures in open topped towers of silence so the top of the temple is called tower of silence there they will keep the uh, dead body and it can be eaten by vultures or any other uh, creatures next is cannibalism here it is prevalent in brazil africa and parts of india okay so it is mainly seen in the brazil africa and india parts of india that dead body is eaten while burning the aghori sect in india eat human flesh so aghori is what we call in near nagpura or um, north india so this aghoris will eat the uh, dead body flesh uh, while it is burning so that is what called cannibalism next disposal by water submersion here yeah, recently after the about a a bad episode the body was disposed of by water submersion it may happen when an aeroplane crash occurs over the ocean 
all bodies were washed out or eaten away by sharks or waves the body decomposition occurs faster in water rather than during the earth burial so the decomposition takes place faster in the water than the earth uh, so it sometimes occurs due to air crash okay during air crash the dead body may fall into the ocean or water water body so it will be buried i mean decomposed there or sometimes the uh, cadaver may come into the seashore next is body donation uh, it is another way of disposal of body it is done uh, for the learning and research of medical fraternity so uh, they will whoever wants to donate the body they will donate and it can be used in the medical research and the studies it is great service for humanity during life the person is allowed to donate his or her body after their death to a nearby medical hospital or college research center the body is utilized for preparing future doctors or professionals after being embalmed raccoons has a plan to start body donation program and another first milestone to be laid down by uh, rak m h s u in u a e this is what started the first body donation next body world display it is also another way of disposal or usage of dead body uh, rather than telling disposal we can tell usage of dead body the dead body is preserved by means of plas plastination process of the entire body after performing a desired dissection and attaining different position and postures it takes 1000 to 1500 human hours to prepare a body by plastination the water content of the body is removed by dehydration and replaced with a uh, plastic substance which prevent decomposition and bacterial infection so when you go to museum you can see the uh, bodies which are standing sitting in the different position this is done by plastination here the body is water is uh, removed by the dehydration and plastic is installed in it so that the, there will be no decomposition next move into hydrolysis or dissolution disposing of human body in a live solution dissolves tissue into sterile therapy substance that can be safely flushed down by a flush down a, a flush down a drain okay here the body is dissolute or turning into water okay hydrolyze and it can be flushed down the process known as alkaline hydrolysis is made use of in the disposal of cadaver if you want to dispose the cadavers in the museum or uh, hospital then you can use the alkaline hydrolysis when you put in the alkaline solution the body will turn into hydrated uh, water water substance the university of florida at uh, gainesville and the mayo clinic in rongster minnesota the hydrolysis is used to dispose of cadaver so in this university uh, this cadaver is disposed by hydrolysis move to the last uh, method freezing in liquid nitrogen it involves freezing the body or uh, dipping it in the liquid nitrogen and gently vibrating it to shatter into powder so you are uh, freezing the body and when you touch or give force it will uh, break and uh, it's like uh, it shatter into the uh, small powders technique is wo technique was conceived by a swedish biologist susan weimarsa who said machine was nature's original plan for us and that's what used to happen to us at the start of humanity we went back into the soil so uh, when the swedish biologist susan bemarsa told that the body is started by soil and it will be uh, disposed into the soil i mean it will go back to the soil so that's what freezing in liquid nitrogen that's the last method of disposal of dead bodies so we'll see in the next chapter thank you